how to how to find a fractional part of a whole or a set. Let's say if we got 12 students. One fourth of these students are girls. We want to know how many girls are there. There's two ways to find this out. First, we can draw a picture. You make 12 circles to represent your students. How many groups of fours, one fourth, do you see? Well, here is one fourth. There is one fourth. There's another one fourth. And another one fourth. So, how many of these? Students are girls. One, two, three. So our answer would be three. Now, you say, what if I don't have time to draw a picture? How else could I solve this problem? Easy. Use numbers. You can multiply. One for the fraction of where it represents times 12. That's the total number of students. How do you multiply a whole number with a fraction? Easy. Put 12 over 1 or any whole number over 1 and you can you, know, you multiply across. 1 times 12 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. Now you have 12 fourths, which is an improper fraction. We can break this down by dividing. 12 divided by 4 gives us what? 3. There are three girls out of the 12 students. One fourth of 12 equals three. Now, another problem is if we had a fraction that had the numerator more than one. For instance, we have nine votes. Two-thirds of the votes are yes. How many people voted yes? Well, let's find out. You can draw a picture again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, two-thirds, let's color them in. Here's one two-thirds, another two-thirds, and another two-thirds. So how many are colored in? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means six of the nine votes voted yes. Now, the same way we did it, see the first problem with the numbers, we do it with this one as well. Two thirds times nine over one. Two times nine is 18. 3 times 1 is 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So, how many votes was yes? 6 votes, 6 out of the 9 votes voted yes. This is how you solve fractional parts of a whole or a set.